Welcome to Raised in Alaska. It's a little cold this morning. It's about 10 degrees. This is the coldest it's been this year so far. And I'm out looking for moose. I stopped and did a little glassing and I found an area that has probably at least 10 moose in it. Of those moose, there were two moose that had their heads together pushing each other around. And when they broke apart, you could see that they both were decent sized bulls, big enough that they had paddles on, on them. And then there was one other decent bull that I could tell with them. And I was spotting probably about two miles away. To get to that two miles, I have to hike way down and around and, and whatnot. So I'll probably have to put on at least three miles this morning before I get to them. Hopefully when I get there, they're still up and moving around. I think they will be, but that's going to kind of be the, the first challenge. And then the second challenge would just be getting in where I can film. I do have a big lens with me today so if I can get within a couple 300 yards I can get some video clips and stuff so hopefully we'll be able to get into them and see how they're doing this morning there's a couple bulls out here that I haven't been able to see yet this year so I have not shared with you and so I'm really hoping that there's some strangers out there today and that we get on them so we'll see how it goes stay tuned for a little action well I'm hiking hard enough and fast enough that even though it's cold as sin out here, I gotta shed a layer. One of the things I don't want to do is get so overheated I start sweating. And then when you stop, your sweat is, you know, kind of the end of you almost. And so I wanna make sure that I stay appropriately regulated in terms of heat. We'll buckle up on the go here. probably 12 moose up there maybe 13 there's quite a few moose and there's several moose there's several wolves up there so this should be interesting really good bulls in this area and none of them are up here there's a group of 12 or 13 and not a single one of those really good bulls are up here and so it leaves me wondering where they went they probably went the opposite direction is my guess from where I'm at now which is miles and miles and so I won't get into them today two of them I've really really wanted to see this year one's an I'll call him an old friend that I videotaped for several years I really want to see that bull. I know he's in here because he's been spotted by friends of mine, but I haven't seen him. And then there's another bull that I saw one time last year that was in here early in the season and I have not seen him again. And so 
I really want to see that bull. I have my game camera, so on my game camera video, I should be able to see him, but I've not laid eyes on him yet this year, and I really want to. And so tomorrow I'm going to go the other way, but for now I'm going to continue watching these guys and see if anything exciting happens. As exciting as that is to watch animals, it's not the bulls that I came to see today. And so I'm going to skedaddle out and go scout out another area probably for tomorrow. Which realistically is probably silly. I should probably stay here and, and watch these guys because it's kind of fun. But I'm very compelled to try to find those big boys, especially the two I haven't seen at all this year. I really want to see them. And so thanks for watching and coming along today. I think it was a good adventure, but it's not the bulls I'm specifically looking for. And so I'm going to get moving, put some miles on, see if I can find them. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully I get into them. Wait and see. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe.
So one last thought from the peanut gallery here. What surprises me about that is the bulls this time of year, so we're post rut. That means that most of the cows are all the cows have been bred, but the bulls want to be sure. And so they are continually cruising, checking out the cows, hoping that a cow comes back into heat. And so the thing that shocks me about that is there's obviously bulls hanging out there. There's lots of cows, plenty of cows. And yet the big bulls aren't there. I find it hard, if not impossible to believe that there's a larger group of cows somewhere else. And so why aren't the bigger bulls hanging out where the cows are? Unless maybe there's a lone cow in heat somewhere that's drawn them and that could be possible. That seems to me to be the most reasonable explanation because they're not going to leave the breeding up to less dominant bulls. And even though those cows have probably been bred, obviously those bulls are checking them. So where are the big ones at? Huh, interesting question. I'll ponder that on my way out. And again, thanks for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you're so kind.